Now to the latest from Ukraine. Russia once again ramping up its attacks on Mariupol. The assault coming just days after humanitarian corridors were opened. Trey Yanks has more from Ukraine. Thick smoke rising from the Azovstal steel plant in Mariupol. Russian-backed forces continue their assault on the mill, appearing to fire rockets in its direction. The air attacks are picking up after a partial evacuation of more than 100 people sheltering beneath the plant. Russians continue to pound Mariupol from the air. So Mariupol, uh, uh, the, the fighting in Mariupol is not done, not, certainly not from what we can see, uh, because they continue to, uh, to bombard it. Ukrainian forces say dozens of elderly women and children are on their way to safety after the evacuations, with help from the UN and the Red Cross. Ukrainian officials report negotiations are underway with Russia and international organizations to establish more safe corridors. Past attempts to free people have broken down, leaving some 100,000 people still sheltering in the city. Many are running out of food, water and medicine. You wake up in the morning and you cry. You cry in the evening. I don't know where to go at all. I am not alone. Imagine everything is destroyed. Meanwhile, Russian officials saying today forces struck a military airfield near the city of Odessa. Russia claims the attack destroyed missiles and ammunition supplied by the U.S. and European allies. The assault coming after new video claiming to show Ukraine destroying Russian patrol boats near Snake Island in the Black Sea. Today, President Biden will discuss security assistance the U.S. is providing to Ukraine. In Kyiv, Trey Inkst, Fox News.